so now we have the uh, stop functionality is also ready so we have one more thing to cover which is transition from every state so if we are running and if I press caps lock our character perform the walk start animation and then transition towards cycle similarly if we are in walking state and if I press caps lock again our character first perform the run start animation and then cycle towards the oh sorry transition towards the cycle state see so we need to fix this as well so in order to fix these trans uh, transition issues uh, we'll use animation curves again all right so for let me open my notes real quick so we have uh, let's go to the animation walk forward so you can create a new curve I have already created that curve which is locomotion state sorry the state uh, is not available so let's open any animation sequence walk forward and create a new curve and which is our locomotion state so this curve represents our current locomotion states so for now we'll have uh, let's consider three states idle walk and run so when our locomotion state value is zero which means our character is in idle state if our locomotion state is one locomotion state value is one our character is in walking and if our locomotion state value is two our character is in running state so we'll use this animation curve logic to transition smoothly between different between different states so currently we have the walk forward so for now I'm gonna set the curve here to 1 because 1 represents walking so if uh, we don't want to add the curves manually to all the animations there's a simple quick fix I'm gonna open up the state machine so we have the idle state machine I'm gonna add modify curve add curve pin and search for locomotion state and set it to zero so when our character is in idle state which means our locomotion state curve value will be zero so next we have the movement state and we have the start and stop a uh, start and cycle okay so so if I open up the start state machine again we have run and walk right so if we are running I'm gonna add a modify curve I'm gonna add a state and I'm gonna set the locomotion state value to 2 I'm gonna copy the node from here and when we are in walking we'll set the modify curve locomotion state to 1 so again adding the same functionality towards the cycle as well if we are in run cycle we need to add we can add curve here as well locomotion state should be 2 and if we are in walk cycle add curve for state locomotion state should be 1 so here we have set up all the locomotion state values where we need it so if I now go to event graph and real quick I'm gonna print the print it out get curve value 
locomotion state see our character is in idle state and our current locomotion state value is one uh, sorry is zero so if we are in running our state value is two if we are in walking our state value is one that's it so we also use uh, so currently you can notice when we transition from running to idle and sorry transition from run to walk and walk to run our uh, values are blending so our values are blending towards 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 so we all we don't need to blend our locomotion state values same similarly same as we have set up the functionality for rotation curve we don't want our rotation curve to blend when we transition towards the cycle state since uh, we have we are using the inertialization uh, inertialization blending so we can also uh, filter curve over here for locomotion state if i add the locomotion state so whenever we perform the inertialization blending we need to filter rotation curve and also locomotion state curve so now if i hit play see when uh, we are now in running and if i perform the pivoting our curve goes directly to zero and then blends from zero to two see similarly for walking our values goes directly to zero and then start blending towards that okay so we need to we only need to restrict our character when we transition from walking to running to perform the we need to restrict the character to perform the start animation currently you can see when we transition from walk towards walking our character first perform start animation and then transition to our cycle so the locomotion state value that we have just created the functionality will give us the enough information that we can that we can use to that we can use to perform the start animation so if our locomotion current state value is zero which means we are in idle state so only that state we need to perform the start animation otherwise if the value is greater than zero if the value is one we are in walking state if the value is two we are in running state so if the value is greater than one we don't need to perform the start animation again we can directly blend towards the cycle state so this is the uh, logic behind it so let me really quickly open up the start state machine here we have the run so here we have run start so i'm gonna add a new state over here which is which will be our enter state here will this here will define either we need to play the start animation or we transition directly to the cycle state I'm gonna add a transition row and transition over here. So the condition will be I'm gonna get curve value which will be our locomotion state. So if the locomotion state value is less than less than one or point nine because one represents walking so if our locomotion state value is less than one which means we need to perform the we need to perform the start animation we'll set the priority order to one first 
check this condition first check this transition if that becomes false we'll then use the other transition and set it to by default true and set the priority order to two so if our current locomotion state value is less than one we need to perform the start animation if if this become false we'll transition towards this step uh, this transition and we then directly transition to our cycle state and i'm going to set the automatic goal base sorry the transition blend time point two would be fine and point two will be fine okay so now we need to perform the same functionality for walk start as well so if i open the walk start sorry here we have the run and walk walk state machine here we have the start add state call it enter copy the curve from here so if our world locomotion state curve value is less than 0.9 we play the start animation otherwise otherwise we will directly transition to our cycle state and change the priority order 1 to there we go so now if i hit play see our character now properly transition towards run and walk state based upon our current locomotion state curve value so it performed the start animation only when it's needed when our current state is less than current locomotion state value is less than one only then our character will perform the start animation otherwise the character the character will properly blend towards the cycle state this looks pretty cool now so here is our walking and running functionality is ready everything is totally working fine pivoting working fine start animation is fine the blending is also fine so in our next video we'll set up the turn in place functionality